Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My fancy beauties and bowls and my brothers and my sisters in Christ. I have had this on my heart for some time and I wanted to just really sit down. I was going to do a car vlog yesterday, but I said no. I want to really just sit down so I can say what it is that I want to say. And I believe that this is going to make an impact. At least I'm praying that it will make an impact on how we move forward in walking with the Lord. This is not going to be a pretty sight that I'm going to describe for you. But the way the world is going is not a pretty sight either. So, if you can say, okay, this is sin. What is on earth worse than sin? Or what can you compare that to? And how many of us despise roaches? I believe every hand in America and across the world would raise their hand as to how much we despise and how much we hate the sight of a roach in our homes. Right? Now, I want you to just sit with that for a moment. And Imagine if you don't catch that roach, that roach get in you as a sin gets in you. One sin gets in you and then it soon becomes an infestation of sin, an infestation of roaches in your home because you didn't... um fumigate. You didn't take any precautions. You didn't go to Walmart and get bombs or uh, boric acid or anything to put down in your home to combat the roaches. And so they just kept having babies and more babies and more babies and more babies until even at the daytime they coming out. This is the roach, by the way, is the devil's insect. And that's why we despise it so much. And as Christians, we should despise. And I want to more so talk about, I want to direct this to the people that have chosen to live outside of Jesus Christ. That have chosen to live outside of the Bible and outside of God's will because that's what's happening to you and to us Christians all over the world that are not doing what we're supposed to do by God, by his word. We are allowing sin to in. To, to develop infestation within us. We start out with one. Like we start out with one lie. Then you got to tell another lie. Then you got to tell another lie to cover up those other two lies. Until you just have to either come out and tell the truth or avoid that person altogether. Right? And so that's how... We are, that's how I want you to imagine what this world is like right now. We allow so many sins to get past us. We allow so many sins to just creep in to the word of God to now we don't even, we can't even recognize the word of God any longer. From, from the foolishness that's going on inside of the church, these modern day churches 
that you just want to make everybody feel good. You want to make everybody have the itchy ear. You want you 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 following these pastors and these bishops and these 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 false teachers, and they taking all your money. They're like roaches. They coming into your life and they're giving an infestation to you of, of the wrong spirit that you should have. Father God, thank you for giving me the, the, the words to say right now, Father God. I thank you so much, Father God, in this moment. Because we have to understand I want you all to understand that time is running out. There's not going to be enough boric acid to kill all these roaches, to kill all these sins. It, God already gave his blood. He already gave us grace. He already gave us time. And we keep squandering it away. You, we let, as parents, it starts with us because God entrusted us to guide our children the way that they should go. If you train a child the way that it should go, it will never depart from the word of God. Something on the inside of that child is going to be snatched up and they're going to come back to the word of God. And we stop that process. And now we support our children when they want to do sin, when they want to, when they want to have operations to, to say, no, God, you made a mistake. I'm not a girl. I'm a boy. I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. And we as parents have lost the line of support and of Discipline and raising our children the way that they should go. We are allowing our children to become infested with roaches. Because you're not stamping out that one roach that got in to that baby's body and said no. God said no. He don't make mistakes. We did not and we are not teaching that to our children anymore. We letting them taste the alcohol. We letting them hit the blunt. We letting them have sex in the house and they not married. We letting them have these operations. We letting boys put on dresses. We letting our girls dress like a guy. You we just letting them do whatever they want to do. If they, oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, I love my child, so I'm going to let them do whatever they want. You letting them go straight to hell, that's what you're doing. We have to get our children back. Why do you think the government is going so hard against, uh, to get our children? Why do you think that? Because they see Oh, if we catch them young, we can hold on to their mind and program them and have them to do whatever it is that we want them to do. We don't want them to have God in their lives. We don't want them reading the Bible. We don't want them praising God. We don't want them to tell the good news to people. We don't want that. No. And you ask why are they so involved in our children's lives? We trying to teach them about politics. There's a book. See, I don't want to get off into this, but Trump has a book to teach children about uh, politics and about how he's been treated wrong in the United States. Hmm? I don't even want 
want to go into politics on this video because that's not what this is about. This is about us putting an image to what sin looks like. And sin, if you compare it to roaches, they, it just crawl all over you. They can get into your ears and get into your brain, your thinking. And you know I'm telling the truth. And then it kills you off. It get into your brain. That's what sin is. Sin starts in your ears. Let me hear what the music sound like. I want to listen to rap. I want to listen to all this evil um, sector music. It get into your ears. Then it get into your thoughts. And then the person that your parents groomed you into to go to church, read the word, walk in the in the in the Lord's path, stand up in his image, all dies. All dies. And then there you are, worshiping, not even knowing that you're worshiping God. Uh, the devil. Not even knowing. You thinking, I'm just out here having fun. I'm just kicking it. You out here, you got no clothes on your body, women. You got your boobs hanging out. You got your butt cheeks hanging out your shorts. You showing everything you got, your form-fitting clothes. And I used to be one of them, so I'm talking to me too. And I had to stop and change my ways. Because it's not of God. We all have to fix ourselves. We all have to work on ourselves and get spiritually right with God. Because time is moving forward fast. Stop letting the roaches in your heart, in your ears, in your brain in your walk, in your talk, in the way that you move. Get the boric acid that's going to kill the roaches dead. And that is the Bible. That is a, 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 the, the, your prayers. To clean out your soul. To clean out your spirit. To clean out your thoughts. And get all of those roaches that's infested in you get them out so that you can see cl things clearly when they coming up in your face and you see all this foolishness that's going around the world right now you'll be able to recognize it and pray over that thing and destroy it with the lord's help i want this for you all I want this for us. I'm a work in progress. I don't have it down pat. There's still things that I have to work on about myself. When you, when you come across those sins and you haven't asked God to forgive you for those, repent right when you remember it so that he can erase that out of your book. Because when, when he come here and he get his church, he's going to call out all and each and every one of your sins. If you ask for repentance, he will erase those sins from your book and no one will know about it. Do the work. Do the work to get rid of the roaches. I pray this to you all over the world. That we come into agreement and that we come back to the to the to the one and only true God that created this world. The one and only the only way to get to heaven is through him. 
Oprah, there's not another way to get to heaven. It's only one way to get to heaven. And that's through Christ Jesus. I pray this to you, my brothers and sisters, my fancy beauties and bows. Please give your life to God. Stay focused on God. Stay true to God. Get closer to him through reading the word, through having fellowship with him by praying. You don't have to pray a long time. Get used to it. Start off with crawling first. And then you can move as into him as deep as you want to go. I tell you, once you start, it's gonna, you're going to feel so wonderful. You're going to feel like there's nothing you can't accomplish. Even when those stones start getting thrown your way. Even when you have those stumbling blocks in your way. Your prayers, being steadfast in the Lord, will help you get through it. I promise you it will. Is it going to be easy? No. Always remember, it's easy to do wrong than it is to do right. That's why the road to, to on this path is narrow. It's easy to commit sin. It's, that's why all the fun is over there. You're dancing, you're twerking, you're smoking, you're, you're drinking until you get drunk and pass out. Having fornication, having affairs with married men. Oh my gosh, I got so many videos I want to bring to you all so you can get so we can get ourselves together together and be ready for the coming of Jesus Christ. Until next time, fancy beauties and balls, brothers and sisters. Stay in prayer. Again, stay focused on God. Be steadfast. And it's going to all come together. Get rid of them roaches.